I would ask our guests who are in the gallery to refrain, to refrain from... Cries of defiance rain down upon Ontario politicians Thursday morning from leaders sitting in the visitors' gallery who represent five Northern First Nations. Security had to escort a couple of them out. Duck Ford, you come and meet me. You're not accessing our traditional homeland. You're not crossing the river system. You're not going to cross the river system. You're not crossing our river. It happened just before Ontario NDP MP Saul Mamaqua asked the government about consequences of exploration and mining. Let me be clear. These five First Nations who traveled thousands of kilometers to be here are the ones that have to live up, live with the mess that is left behind after mining. Their children, their grandchildren, will have to drink the water downstream. Indigenous Affairs Minister Greg Rickford provided the answer, referencing an agreement made three weeks earlier, where Ontario accepted an environmental assessment by the Webquay and Martin Falls First Nations to build an all-season road to the Ring of Fire. Mr. Speaker, and I can tell you, they all want better infrastructure. They all, uh, for the most part, want road access to improve the health, social and economic opportunities for their communities. That's what a provincial government does, Mr. Speaker. The same morning before question period, leadership explained their concerns during a press conference. The Ring of Fire is, uh, is something that's being, uh, being um, fast-tracked without the involvement of our people more importantly, without the informed participation and informed consent of our people. And that's a very troubling situation for our people, and it's a concern. The chief of Grassy Narrows warned about development without consent. His community continues to suffer from mercury poisoning, although from the discharge of wastewater from a pulp mill and not mining. Want development. For 20 years, we've, uh, the blockade, they've, uh, been successful, not allowing logging in our territory, and now we've got this issue of mining and people make staking and making claims on our land without the consent of Grassy and Arrows. Ketchum Akusa Beninawag Band Councillor Cecilia Begg says the past is repeating itself. In 2008, Begg and five other leaders from KI were jailed for opposing mineral exploration on their lands. She said they were protecting their land and water for future generations. The government didn't see that. We were also their treaty partner and they mistreated us. They haven't apologized and, and they are still doing the same thing, pushing their agenda, encroaching our lands, even though people say, they say no, and that no means no. Minister Rickford's office responded to APTN News with an emailed statement. In part, it says, from the outset, we have focused on consensus building in relation to resource projects and legacy infrastructure in Northern Ontario. Our government will meet its constitutional duty to consult while we continue this important work. Annette Francis, APTN National News, Toronto.